What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. I'm Rude Linnell, and we're still looking at the Unicurses module. Remember, that's kind of like a cross-platform combination of end curses and obviously curses, because they're kind of like wrapped up together, you know. But, alright, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows. And uh, not the operating system Windows, but the end curses rendition of Windows. So when I say Windows, I mean like a, a separate portion of your screen. Like if I had the, the console open right here, I could define a a window that was like let's say this space wide it doesn't matter it's it's any separate portion of your screen and it can be any size and we can use this to kind of like recreate a character maybe in a, in a game that can be our player or something it can be like a one by one um, size window and that can be whatever we want it to be or we could make it like a status message down at the bottom of our of our screen here and that can just display text like hey what's going on or like text in an RPG game if you're talking to another character or uh, an NPC that sort of thing but anyway the idea that I'm trying to get across to you guys is that a window is like a, a sub screen in your entire screen or your, your standard screen okay so uh, let's take a look at how we can do this in, in Python and in Unicurses. But first, let's get our handy-dandy functions going. We'll start the color up. Uh, we can turn off echo. We're going to not display the cursor. And we we can use uh, arrow keys and stuff. And let's actually set this to be a loop. So you guys know the boolean loop like we did in, in a few videos past. Remember 27 is the key code to escape, or at least that's the escape key on your keyboard. So that way we can break out of this loop. Turn run to equal false. Alright, let's try and run this just to make sure everything went smoothly. Um, my file is called first01. Okay, yep. So there's our blank screen. Everything is working just the way we want it to. I'll hit escape, and then we break right out of there. Okay. So, the function that I want to introduce to you guys, and, and what I'm really going to be showing you in this tutorial, is, um, Windows. So, this is set up. Windows are created by a function called newwin. N-E-W-W-I-N. And you can see when you get your parentheses open, um, this takes four arguments. So in the curses library in the original Python, um, two of these arguments are optional. I don't think you need to know um, the size of the of the window. I, I could be wrong here, but anyway, in Unicurses, in the package that we're dealing with, we need to know the number of lines, the number of columns, and where we should start the window. So it's kind of like asking for the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and how wide it's going to be, and how um, how tall it's going to be, the height. So this is just in a different order than we're used to, but we're going to be able to look at it and see what really happens here. So okay, let's say new win and the, the number of lines that we want. So that's going to be horizontal, so if we're if we're going down, let's say we want uh, 10. Number of columns, okay, that's, that's um, moving horizontal across the, like, x-axis, but y is going horizontal across... Um, vertical. So uh, I, I'm doing a bad explanation of this, <laughs> but you guys know the coordinate system in N-curses. It, it's y and, y and then X rather than X over Y, X and then Y. So it, it, it's strange and you can work with it. But number of columns, let's say 10 as well. Let's begin at, um, let's say, 3 and 0 for X. So we should begin at 3 down and uh, that sort of thing. At right at the very left, because it's going to be x0. So, this just created a window, but we need to be able to work with that, so obviously we'll set that to a variable. Window can equal new win. Okay, so if I were to run this, uh, nothing nothing different happens. <laughs> there, there's nothing there. It's, it's, it's blank. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But, that window is there. It, end curses by default will not set anything up, but, if I, uh, if I actually add something to this window, what we can do, let me escape out of this program, we can use w add string, and this this function will, it, it acts just like add string, but you can specify a different window other than your standard screen. So let's just say window, and we can add a string in here, if I can actually get back to where I was typing. Let's say hello world. Now let's make sure I have enough characters here, 5, 10... It's, it's definitely going to be more than 10, so let's change the um, columns to equal, um, how about 
25. And now nothing is going to be displayed when we run this, but that's because Ncurses does a really interesting thing when you're working with Windows. So I wanted to show you guys this um, before I jump into uh, some later tutorials because I'm going to be looking at panels and how you can incorporate panels with Windows. But if, if we're using key.getch, that's going to be getting characters or the keys that you press from the standard screen. So it's not going to actually display anything that's created by the window or any other screens or any other windows. So we can actually say key equals w get ch and we can specify the screen ID or the window. So in our case we'll pass in window. If I get my terminal back up here, I run this, we can see hello world is right there. So that's very, very, very strange, because if we had multiple windows, um, we've kind of got a problem, because we can't test for every single one of these windows when we're trying to actually display uh, our game, when we're actually using the game loop. And um, that's another reason why panels come in handy, and um, panels are actually really great because they give depth to your windows. You can have multiple, and you can keep track of what's behind one window and what's in front of another window, and that sort of thing. So we're going to learn about those in, in later tutorials very, very soon, but I just wanted to show you windows first, because they're, they're like subsets of your, your screen. And remember, it's just for these four parameters, and it creates a little box. That's all it takes. Now, um... We have the current position, remember, it's um, three down, one, two, three, right up here at the zeroth position. And uh, if I actually move this, let's say it's over at five, run it now, it's five spaces over, right? All right, cool, cool. And the width and the, the height, now the first arguments, if these aren't going to be able to fit your string in, you'll get an error. So let's say, 10 again, like it was originally, and if I run this, hello world, uh, okay, so we're not getting the error in this case, but instead our text is being wrapped, because remember we have um, 10 actual lines that we can access, all la 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 la, like say 10 lines in a text editor, it's going to be able to wrap over to that next line, but if I specified, no, nah, there's only one line, and we can only fit 10 of them, 10 characters in here, it's not even going to bother displaying the rest, that's going to be a problem. It's not like it's a big deal, at least we're not getting an error, like I said, uh, I'm sorry, I guess I was wrong about that, but you're going to be able to see the behavior, what's really going wrong, and that sort of thing. If I move this to like 1-1, one, one, I wonder what it's going to do. I know, all I see is the H. Huh. Alright. But if I use get ch, remember, without any arguments, we're not going to be able to see anything, because we're only looking at the standard screen. We have to be able to see the current window, or at least what we're going to be looking at. So, Let's say we created another window. Uh, we'll give this two rows, and it can have 25, the original. And let's say window 2, that can be over, um, let's say, 30 characters. And on the same line, hello world again, 225. So now that I have two windows up, I wonder what'll happen. Okay, w get ch takes exactly one argument. Right, right, right. I forgot to pass in window. Sorry about that, guys. Mm, there yours. Let's reset the terminal. Reset the terminal. Okay. Now if I run my script, hello world, hello world again. Okay, is my positioning off there? Let's see what happened. Let's move it up to um, 50. Hello world, hello world again. Okay, I wonder what it's doing here. Oh, I'm only adding it to the first window. That would be my problem. Sorry, guys. Okay, so when I've added it to the other window, that window isn't going to be displayed when I'm actually specifying to get the keys, or at least wait for the keys on this specific window. If I change it to window 2... We can see that the other hello world is all the way over there, so it's completely out of the way. But we're not going to be able to see the other window that would have been there, or window 1. So there's the issue with windows, but that thankfully that's solved with panels uh, along with some other stuff. Panels are just really, really great. So we're going to we're gonna get into those very soon, but first I needed to introduce to you guys the concept of Windows and just sort of like splitting apart your screen to be another box inside the initial box that you already had. 
Alright, I'm going a little too far with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.